Hey everybody, it's Trevor here with the channel where every day is range day and in this week's video we're going to be going through a full review of the holster sent in to us from A&I Manufacturing. Let's check it out. Alright guys, and just to start off the video as usual, these holsters were sent in to us by AI Manufacturing out of Georgia. We weren't paid for a good review or anything like that. They just sent us in some products to test and review, so that's what we did. We got these holsters in a couple months ago, and you can check out our first impressions and sort of an overview of all the different features that these different products that they sent in to us have to offer. So definitely check that out if that's something that interests you. We're not going to go through all these features here today, but we are going to go through an overview of my experiences with these holsters from a concealed carry capacity over the past couple months, and then a few other considerations from my own point of view. So let's get into it. Now as we get started here, just a quick recap of what exactly a &I Manufacturing did set into us. They sent three total products. Two of them were Kydex holsters for my Glock 19. They both look pretty much the same from this angle, but from the other side you can see that one has a concealment wedge built in while the other one does not. They're both designed for inside the waistband carry and that's currently the only type of holsters that a &I Manufacturing offers. But the concealment wing is designed specifically with the appendix carry position in mind. Apart from those two holsters, they also send in a little mag caddy that fits the double stack Glock mags. Also has a little belt clip, and that completes the setup that they sent in to us. And thanks again to the guys from A&I Manufacturing for sending this out for us to review. Definitely enjoyed working with you. Now over the past couple months or so, I've worked these holsters into my concealed carry routine with the Glock 19 that you can see here. My usual rig is what you can see here if I don't have the light bearing holster option. And this is the joint rig from Tier 1 Concealed. This is the Axis Elite. So it has the pistol holster on the side combined with a spare mag joined in the middle with the sort of shock core that gives it a little bit of flex. Of course, these holsters from A&I are fundamentally different in that they're a two-piece setup, which is a little different for me. Again, the appendix dual rigs for like the Tier 1 Concealed or a T-Rex arm is what I've started out on. It's definitely my preference in terms of concealed carry holsters, but that's not the only type of holster out there, and for some people that might not be the right fit. So getting into my overall experiences and thoughts on the holsters over the past couple months, as I've been working them into my concealed carry loadouts, I gotta say my experiences have been overwhelmingly positive. Most of my time spent carrying these holsters concealed has been with the appendix inside waistband one with the concealment wedge built in because appendix carry is really my favorite. It's definitely my preference in terms of appendix versus three or four o'clock or something like that. So that's what I've spent the most time with. And overall, these are a pretty solid option if something like the tier one concealed rig isn't quite your style. Different holsters work for different people's preferences in terms of comfort and your body type and things like that. And overall, you should select what's best for you. If you don't like having a mag caddy attached to the holster, this is definitely a strong option. And as I said in my initial impressions video on these holsters, the build quality and the fit and finish and everything like that for these holsters is top notch and it's remained that way over the past couple months. I have no concerns about durability or fit or any kind of quality concerns as far as the construction and materials used in these holsters. So that's always a good thing to keep in mind. In terms of concealment, they work great. I mean, a lot of the features in these holsters are built specifically for concealment in mind, of course. And they have a couple little extras that not every holster has that help with that just a little bit more. Of course, they have the concealment wing that has a little bit of adjustability to it to really help push that grip into your body. But the canted blocking is definitely a feature that sticks out here. It seems like a pretty small adjustment having a little bit of taper here to help push this into your body a bit more, but it really does help compared to something that just has a flat block for the clip interface there. Again, this type of feature is unique to A&I manufacturing as far as I know, and it really does go a long way for something so simple as adding just a little bit more thickness right here. The wedge on the back is also a nice addition as well. My initial concerns would be maybe a little bit of comfort issues compared to something like a foam wedge from Tier 1 Concealed here that gives you just a little bit more moldability to your body, but all in all, I haven't really noticed any discomfort from this the built-in Kydex option here. Sure, it's maybe not as customizable as something like the wedge that you can put basically anywhere, just move it to the side, up, down, wherever you want, but it comes pre-built into the holster and it's a nice touch. It does its job well and it didn't seem to irritate me that much at all. I didn't really notice it any more or less than just a foam wedge. And overall, from a concealment point of view, they get the job done well and they do so comfortably. And those are really the two most important features in my mind in terms of a concealed carry holster. One, it's got to conceal the firearm because what's the point if it doesn't? And then two, it's got to be pretty comfortable because otherwise you're just not going to want to carry, you're not going to wear it. But those are the two big boxes you got to check in my opinion and this holster accomplishes that. The non-appendix holster without the wedge on the back is just as comfortable as well. Of course, it doesn't conceal quite as good 
in the appendix position because of this little push that the wedge gives you but it still performs pretty well. And this is definitely a solid choice if maybe appendix isn't exactly your style and you prefer something more like four o'clock. I'm not a big fan of three o'clock carry personally, but from a four o'clock position, I wore this for just a little bit in that position. It's comfortable as well, seems to work just fine from that angle also. So in terms of actual performance of these products, I would definitely recommend them. They seem to get the job done as well. They're comfortable to boot. My only type of criticism that I could offer for these particular holsters has to do with the relationship between these clips here and this old mounting hardware section for an old type of tuckable clip that used to be standard on these holsters or at least very popular before these discrete carry concept clips found their way in. And my main gripe with this here is you can see how close the little lip on the clip is to this little raised piece of kydex right here. It's very, very close and when you're trying to get your finger under here to lift this clip over off of your belt, this really gets in the way. You can still get the holster on and off and everything like that, but it's, I don't know, it's just pretty inconvenient. It's real tough to get your hand in here and lift that clip up pretty easily. You'll see that on something like this tier one concealed holster here under the clips, there's really nothing there. It's just a bunch of free space so you can get your finger under the bottom of the clip to lift it up and over your belt or pants or whatever method of attachment you're using. This area is blocked just a little bit by this piece of hardware here. And if I was a and I, I'd probably just get rid of it in general. But I did talk to them about this and they've heard this piece of feedback before. And they've actually adjusted their molds since I've received these to shift this piece down about three eighths of an inch or and a half an inch or something like that. And that should really get it out of the way so you can get your finger underneath the little lip up front and make putting this holster on and taking it back off that much easier. That being said, that really is my only sort of criticism with these products that they've sent in. They work pretty well. Just a little bit annoying getting these on and off of your belt. But since then, they fixed that issue, so I can't really hold it against them anymore. That being said, another couple of smaller little issues that don't really have any impact on the product or its functionality at all, and are more from a customer or sales desiring point of view. If you're buying a similar holster from Tier 1 Concealed or something like that, you'll probably have dozens of different color options. I've got carbon fiber here, but you can get all kinds of different patterns and colors on your Kydex from something like Tier 1 Concealed, T-Rex Arms, things like that. Back when I was first sent in with these, black was the only color you could get, and that could definitely use some improvement, at least from a consumer preferences standpoint. Again, it doesn't really impact the performance of the product, but people like having different colors, patterns, and options like that, and that's something that this particular brand doesn't have a ton of. Nowadays, they also offer a storm gray and a red color in addition to the black, but there's still a little ways to go if you want the same level of customizability that you can get from other manufacturers. If you ask me, that's a pretty nitpicky little item to call out, but I did figure I should point it out if you're looking at buying one of these. So they've been expanding their colors and I'm sure they'll be adding more in the future as well. And that's about it in terms of the holsters. My last little talking point in terms of these two pieces of gear is the price. And it is pretty attractive for what you get. This is a quality Kydex holster that conceals pretty well, it's built well, and is quite comfortable to boot. And these come in right at $60, which is a pretty competitive price point. Granted, you don't have the mag caddy attached, but even something like this tier one conceal holster, it does have the magazine caddy attached too, but I think this is only like 30 bucks or something. Any type of rig like this from tier one conceal is gonna be well over $100, some even creeping close to $200 if you trick it out with fancy patterns, more options and things like that. And I mean, 150 bucks or more for a holster, that, that's pretty expensive really. Coming in at only $60, you can't really go wrong with this if the appendix isn't your style, or you don't really necessarily want the combo rig like these tier one conceals. So I think that price point is definitely fair. You get a pretty good quality product for the money and that's an attractive price point for what you get. So all in all, these pistol holsters are a pretty safe buy if you're in the market for something like this. Moving on to touch on the Mag Caddy again, not too much to talk about here. It's pretty simple in its design. It does fit the double stack Glock mags perfectly. Good retention, good snap, good fit and finish, just like the pistol type holsters. So I don't really have any complaints there either. This clip is much easier to get to because you don't have any type of blockage going on like these holsters did for this piece that has since been fixed. So this also fits on your belt pretty well. My only criticism with this particular mag caddy is that when it's on your belt, it does move side to side a little bit more than something like this will. And that's largely due to the single clip design. When you only have one attachment point, it can wiggle back and forth like that. It's not really going to do anything to you when you're carrying it. I mean, if it's pinched between you and a belt, it's held pretty well in place. But when you pull the mag out, it's probably going to rock back and forth. This isn't an issue in use practically, because once you draw your magazine, you're probably not going to be putting it back in there anytime soon. And you don't get points for reholstering a magazine or anything like that but it does move around quite a bit when you're doing so. So at the range, you're kind of readjusting this all the time and that's a little bit cumbersome. 
You don't get any type of movement like that from the tier one concealed holster because they are joined and you have two clips that are spaced pretty far apart. So any rocking like this is minimized due to that span and the double clips. But overall, these Kydex products from A&I Manufacturing really are a solid option for somebody looking to get into concealed carry options or just looking for a new holster. I prefer Kydex over leather, and this is definitely a good spot to look, especially if something like these dual rigs is either too expensive for you or just not quite what you're looking for. The price point is fair, they can seal well, and they're pretty comfortable. That's really all you need to consider when selecting a holster. So if you're in the market for a new Kydex holster setup and maybe the combo rigs aren't for you, definitely check out A&I Manufacturing. They're a solid option. You can rest easy knowing you'll get a great product that's definitely going to work for you. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below. And if you have any questions about these products from A&I Manufacturing, you can definitely check out their website, which I'll link below, or leave them below in the comments. We'll be happy to hear from you and answer any questions you might have. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel, where every day is range day. Thank you for watching. Are we, am I drawn or am I compressed ready? Compressed ready. Compressed. Okay.